Hello, my name is Ghost Raven, and let me welcome you to my channel and my gameplay of the Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30. This is one of my first gameplays on this very channel, so I hope you will enjoy it. I hope you will excuse any inaccuracies. The English is not my natural thing, which you will probably hear in just about a few seconds and a few minutes. <laughs> so, please excuse any of this and I really hope you stick around for more. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Thank you. Enjoy. So first of all, let's use our difficulty. We only play on difficult, which is pretty challenging. It can get tricky at times. It's not as difficult as authentic, which actually disables the suppression circles and everything in between any helpful guides. So We'll do the difficult one. I completed this game many times. Well, not many times, quite a few times. So that should be pretty fine. Okay, let's go with difficult. Yes. My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families. Those you raise, and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here. Eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead. Eight days watching my men, my family, kill, be killed. Eight days wishing it would stop. And we're in a game. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is too freaking intense for first seconds. But anyway, it's very really reminiscent of Brothers in Arms, as you can probably see. We have to hold this trench, this line, as best as we can. I don't want to speak too much when the other characters are speaking because I I don't want to mess up with the audio and things like that. and your experience while watching so I will try to limit this as best as I can or edit it in the boss production if necessary really oh what the hell is going on oh he's not going to make it and these weapons are so inaccurate I can hit, I can't hit anything <laughs> substantial. Oh, there you go. That's better. Oh no, that's not ours, right? No, well, this is not ours. Oh, damn. What the hell are you doing? What? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I almost forgot about this. Oh God. What an intro, right? I mean, this is so intense. Gearbox software production of of what? Brothers in arms. Yeah, right. I'll be quiet, I'm sorry. <laughs>
yeah, so the game itself has a rather strong feel, Brothers in Arms, uh, has a really strong Band of Brothers, Saving Private Ryan feel to it, so it's, it's very reminiscent of these, of this media, so yeah, all the great stuff, all the great things you should see if you didn't saw it. Just yet. The D Day on well, before. <laughs> Right. Stand up. Let's get into this. Oh man. Well, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> In a crashing plane. But yeah, with all due respect, um, this first part is very reminiscent of the Band of Brothers, the second episode. Well, the game itself was clearly inspired by by the TV show, as far as I can tell. So, yeah, let's see how how the story will go. Actually, the story itself is one of the strongest parts of this game, or the strongest stronger parts of this game so it should be pretty nice the characters are at least for me memorable so we'll see how it goes also the ambience and the graphics which are quite old by today's standards are still rather interesting I don't know this color palette and everything this style I would call it it's really interesting at it's very basic by today's standards, but I, I quite enjoyed it. I clearly, <laughs> I'm clearly clouded by nostalgia, I would say, but I truly enjoy what what I'm seeing. Even though this game is like 15, 16 years old, which is crazy to think, really. But here's our friend. Well, that's a long story. Where's my gear? <laughs> Press me the mouse. Took a looking down the sides. Yeah, fire a weapon. Classic stuff. F reload or R. Full on max orders. All right. So let's get into this. Oh, here are some Germans. I don't understand the word that they are saying, but we should be. Stealthy. Oh, well, that didn't work out. I'm only using this small pistol, which is not doing too much damage. Now it's not too accurate. Anyway, oh, here's one of my friends, one of our friends. Well, try and do something. I don't know where we are. Well, that's two of us, I guess. And looking at this poor dude, I think he's agreeing with us. 
So let's move. Yeah, I don't see anyone in here. Anyone else, that is. No, it's a dead horse. Oh, that sucks. Let me just move my mic slightly. Alright. Although, there doesn't seem to be anyone else, as far as I can tell. Do whatever you want, man. Sure. Well, there's someone. God, I don't remember <laughs> some things. How is these guys? Sorry. I'll try and do your best, I guess. Hello, just we Americans. Americans, what town is this? Any of y'all know French? I can't understand a goddamn word she's jabbering. I speak a bit, sir. Then get your ass over here, son. Well, you did a good work, don't you? Gosh darn it. Well, sounds like a plan. We'll do, I guess. We'll try. Chapter complete. So let's continue forward. You really start to notice the quirks a person has when you think he might be dead in a week. I remember the first time I saw Leggett. It was in the breakfast tent. He was cutting a hard-boiled egg into small pieces with a knife. Like ham. <laughs> It occurred to me at this point I'd never in my 23 years of existence seen a man cut an egg into slices like that. I don't know why I remember that. Hmm. I really like these transitions in between missions, by the way. There's an AA gun over there. We have to take it out. All right. Are you going to pay for it? <laughs> he just broke our damn game. Shove a sock in it. <laughs> Well, so much for being stealthy, I guess. Well, let's get out of here. Destroy that AA gun. We are supposed to. Alright. I still got this pistol. Yes, yeah, so one of the main things, one of the main focuses of this game is the strategic element to it. And one of the main, basically one of the main things to look forward to is the situational awareness view, which allows us, and we'll skip through this, you can read it, pause it and read it if you want to. But basically what it allows us to do, well, it goes in vain with the theory that, um, the airborne soldiers had to learn the terrain and maps by heart. They had to study it to as much detail as they possibly could. So this, in theory, allows you to see the terrain before you because of this ability. And it helps you determine where your enemies are located and what tactics you should be using to to get them as you can see there are two of them right in here and yeah this whole thing this whole strategic thing is centered around flanking your enemy suppressing and flanking your enemy yeah yeah we'll just get through this so the main plan is that we will basically be suppressing our enemies these two guys right here while Sergeant Hesse will go through the right and surprise them by flanking. 
So, yeah, this is basically the plan we are supposed to be doing, and it's one of the main game mechanics, which is encouraged by the gameplay and by the terrain and things like that. So it's kind of a strategic game, kind of logic, logical game, in a way, in a sense. You will see later. Yeah, and we'll just get through this. This is not too really important to read through. But this is the, the suppression indicator, which allows us to see how the enemies are suppressed. When the circle is red, it means they are unsuppressed and they will be able to fire back and they their shots will hurt drastically. When, when they are gray, that means they are suppressed and they won't be able to return fire on our position. That's basically the gist of it. So anyway, let's get back to this. Let's go ahead with a plan. Alright, I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm trying. Right. I'm trying to hit them. Well, with a small pistol, I won't be able to suppress them <laughs> as successfully. And I got shot a bit. Oh, well, it's just a scratch. Nothing too serious. I will try to suppress him while. Yeah, he he already got them. Nice job. Oh, there are more. Where? Oh, here. Full like it down the wall and flank the enemy. Okay, we'll try to do it by this way. But if <laughs> he would help us to suppress them, that would be even cool, even cooler. I think he won't be able to. I know where is he. I guess we'll have to get them by ourselves and shoot them and hopefully kill them before they kill us. Just one, one more. Oh come on, man! Oh, there's another one. I didn't see him the first time. Right, and now he's dead. Okay, nice job. Let me take. The German rifle, which is very useful and more accurate than the standard pistol. Poor bastards. We should help them. Maybe there's still some alive. What do we do? There's nothing we can do. But Sarge, keep moving like it. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but <laughs> no one is going to live through this, unfortunately. Alright, let's get forward. Is there someone in here? We got crowds. Oh, there are crowds. Germans. Let's see the situational awareness view too. To see where they are located. So they're running from here. They will take cover behind those boxes. So there are two ways out to engage them. We can go through the left or through the right. From my personal experience, going through right, it's more advisable. Well, maybe we can shoot it from here, but I guess we don't, because while well, the um, weapons themselves are inaccurate by the design, so they encourage you to flank the enemies. It's just a gaming, gaming mechanic, which is kind of strange. It's not very realistic by any means. You know, these weapons could hit a target hundreds of meters away, but not in this game. Maybe just Baker is a terrible shot, or I don't know what is the problem, but that's what it is, basically. So let's get through here and let's shot him, yeah, like this. Okay. Yeah, it's the last one. No one else is in here. We can move. Right, I can't control any of <laughs> any of them just yet. I can't command them in any way. It's just a tutorial mission. We'll be able to get more freedom along the way. Oh, there's that AA gun, which we have been hearing quite recently about. Okay, I will wait for you to fire. Come on. 
Nice. Two, and there's one more. I don't know how I will be able to get him. I will try to sneak up on him. Maybe open this. Yes, like this. Nice, he's dead. I mean, the rifles are more accurate. It still isn't <laughs> hyper-realistic by any means, but they are more accurate, so the gameplay is more... more manageable. This way. Okay, plant the charge by pressing F. Good. And destroy this. This A gun. Hopefully, <laughs> it will not hit me. No. Good. There's another one. Oh, then there are Germans. Maybe I'll be able to hit him from here. Maybe, maybe not. I guess not. Oh, I did. And he was impressed. There are some. Nice. So sometimes it works. There's a random element to all of this. I believe. Sometimes I can hit the target, sometimes I don't. So it's quite random on what I can actually do. Did I hit him? <laughs> that was that was too close. And I hear I hear German language being said, so Oh, there are some people. Okay, there they are dead. Flying. Who? Let me just see. Where are the enemies? Oh, this is the AA gun. And... Oh, here are some... Well, three of them. Three Germans. Running towards us, so... We have to be careful. I'm not sure when they're going to land. So let me just... See and try to take them... Out. Yeah, like this. I hit one. I don't know how many more are here. Let me just see. So three of them, right, and what should I do, I will try to go through the left and surprise them, hopefully they will keep them. Oh, there's one I didn't see you before. Jesus, so it's not really, oh two of them. Jesus, this is, this is not good. <laughs> and my last, my last. Um, ammo, so that wasn't too good. Okay, there are two of them, but they are not helping me too much. My, my comrades. Well, <laughs> they did. Once I finished the sentence, they actually killed one of them. So, yeah, I should be more critical of them. Maybe they will. They will be more accurate. Oh, come on, help me somehow. I don't want to stick on my head because they will kill me. Okay, this is this one is down and there's there's a last one. I will probably change my weapon and try to risk it with with this pistol. Like this, nice. Yeah, that's all of them, I believe. Oh, all right, all right, again, Sato charge, and let's get the hell out of here, as he already said. Just be cleared of the blast radius, just to be sure I won't get hit. Nice, nice, so it works, nicely. Made with Mag to end your mission, all right. Let's complete the last mission of this episode. We are on the right foot, so let's continue in our streak. 7 a.m. I believe. I finally came to the conclusion that I had to swallow my fears, take charge, and lead these men. It seems fate has a dark sense of humor. I'm the man with hell standing between me and my men. No matter. Not even hell. 
won't stop me. That's right. I got word from another platoon that some of our boys dropped in this area. The crowds were nice enough to flood it for us as a welcome. Sure as shit isn't gonna be easy finding them out here. Unless, of course, they find us. Is that red? Red? Crowds all over. I think oh. I saw a mortar team just back there. Jesus, it's great to see you guys. I spent this morning in a ditch full of water. But I got one. Picked him off as he sipped his morning Joe. Did I mention it was great to see you guys? <laughs> the landings are scheduled for 0630, so there's no time to lose. Baker, you take heart sock and clear the main road. I'll try to gather up anyone I can find around here. I'll meet you on the beach and we'll try to link up with 4th Infantry. Good luck, guys. Sure thing. Well, it's someone o'clock already, so we're late. Half an hour. Anyway. So this is one of the other main mechanics of this game. We have the ability to well, one more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have the ability to control our squad. Um, well, C Corporal Hartsog is part of our team, part of our squad, and we can issue him different orders, which you will see in a minute. We don't have to see this, but with the pressing of right mouse button, we can issue him to move, to cover, to suppress the enemy, as you will see in a minute. With the right mouse button, we can Let's give him all we got. order him to suppress the enemy, like this, which is quite useful, as you will see in a minute. And also, we can, yeah, we already know this, we can tell him to charge the enemy when he is suppressed, like this, like this scarecrow, this dangerous scarecrow, apparently. All right, we don't have to need. We don't need to read this, really. Don't worry, I will show you how it's done. <laughs> Hopefully, or I will fail. Yeah. Rally on me. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, exit command. With the space. But before we get into this, I have to go to controls. I'm sorry that I'm doing this. I have to go to controls and change the button for fall in because I need to set it to Y which is closer to my finger this is the problem because I have the Slo Slovakian keyboard set in so Y and Z are messed up quite frequently in games I have to change it up but it should work right now without any issues so let's get into this same profile, everything seems to be fine. Yeah, it's working perfectly. I hope that I'm recording, by the way. <laughs> and let's get into this. Come on, red. And let's find some Germans. Oh, there are some. Oh, Jesus. Try to suppress them. I'll try to do the same. Nice. So they are suppressed now. And I will try to go through the right and try to flank them and hopefully kill them efficiently before they will be able to recover from from this like this yes nothing too easy so far great job there doesn't seem to be anyone else I will change this weapon I don't need a pistol I will take a rifle which is more useful than a a pistol and more accurate and we have to go here on east I believe through here oh there's someone definitely are you with me okay so let's get oh there are Germans take cover behind these barrels <laughs> oh they're running here there are crowds try to surprise them if you can nice okay let's see the awareness view yeah I should be able to get on the right and flank them hopefully I want a carbine just in case I'll crouch crouch near his wall to, to surprise them I don't know if they know that I'm here we'll find out I guess 
let's try. So, they don't know that I'm here. Well, <laughs> it's too late for them to know. I'm still here in German language. I have to cover red. God, I'm spraying like crazy and using too much ammo. But anyway, I try, I try to surprise them. How many of them are there, by the way? Only one. I should be able to get him through the right. I will try and use the rifle. I hope so. I will be able to. Yeah, I should be able to hit him. But come on, man. Come on. Nice. Right. Last bullet. But anyway, let's get a move on in here. There are some... Oh. There is someone, definitely. There's someone shooting. Yeah. Let's try and surprise him. So shoot him. Shoot him. This mortar team. Right. Good job. No me either. Okay, it seems to be clear. There's a truck. Fortunately, we can drive. We can't drive any vehicles. We can't use the mortal. So, let's get a move on. Oh, there's a dead cow. Uh, shame. Right. I really like these aesthetics. You know, this attention to detail. And apparently, as far as I can recall, uh, all of this was made by the photographs, by the set, uh, satellite images to resemble the real thing, the real friends as close as possible. The real locations in which the soldiers fought. So it's really interesting. Oh, there are some Germans. We have to be careful. Oh, there are two squads. Try to surprise them. Oh, though at the same time that would be difficult. Fortunately, I don't have any grenades. Oh, there are. Try to surprise those two. And let's see what we have in here. So there are two of them. And there are also two of them. If I will be able to suppress these, I should be able to sneak upon these two guys. And take them out. At least that's the plan. Maybe it will work. I don't see anything. Right, am I able to hit them from here? I hit someone, definitely. Try to hit... Oh, nice. So, both are dead, but there are also these two. <laughs> Guys, I will try to go through the right and flank them. I have a few rounds in, in carbine, so I'll use this for a quick, quick kill, hopefully. Gosh darn it. Whoa, I didn't saw that grenade, that was too freaking close. Thank God. Sweet mother of Jesus. Okay, let's go hard suck. Well, I'm trying to save the ammo, but it's sometimes difficult. Anyway, let's move. Oh, nice. There are some, there are some track. Dead horses, some water, <laughs> and some friends. Wasn't sure if we we're gonna see you guys. Been shooting at Germans coming off that beach all morning. One poor bastard was trying to take a crap when Alan plugged him. What? He was going for his gun. Interesting. Poor bastards had to put up a hell of a fight before potato masher got the best of them. Browning thirty cal. Watch out for the oh. trigger. What? All right, take the MG position. Right, guys, let's let's get on me and let's and take over. Let me use the machine gun. Where are the enemies? Oh, there's someone. Oh, it's from my line of view. I cannot hit him. Hopefully, they will get around. Oh, they are in here. Nice. There's someone running. And in here too. Oh god. Nice. 
and in here there are some Germans in here right anyone else talk with Mac so that was everyone I guess nice job the game seems to be lagging somewhat I'm running in 30 FPS I don't know what's that all about. Anyway, I hope everything is fine. <laughs> Alright. We're here. Looks like the fourth ID has things under control. As soon as they start moving their equipment ashore, we'll get resupplied and move out. I've got to speak to HQ to figure out where the hell the rest of our men are. So get some rest while you can. We got a long day ahead of us. Alright, thank you. That's true, and sad at the same time, really. More so than it's a real history. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I'm still a beginner in this, I'm still trying to learn all the gripes, all the intricacies of recording gameplay and doing these things. But I really hope you enjoyed what you've seen, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much, I will provide you with more gameplay, more games, more everything, as fast as I can. Thank you, have a good day, stay healthy, and everything else in between. Thank you so much. Raven out. Bye-bye.